two more local cases have been added to Taoyuan's hospital cluster, taking the total to 12. One of the new cases is a man in his 90s who was a patient at Taoyuan General Hospital earlier this month. The second case is one of his family members. Eleven Taoyuan hospitals, including Ground Zero of the outbreak Taoyuan General, convened a conference on Friday to coordinate their response to the growing outbreak. With the hospital cluster growing, the premier went down to Taoyuan on Friday. He and Taoyuan Mayor Zheng Wenshan joined a conference on COVID prevention within hospitals. Today, there is a meeting of 11 Taoyuan hospitals about pandemic response measures, so I've rushed here to attend. In a moment here, I will deliver my message of encouragement and I will hear everyone's reports. Via video conference, Su and Zheng spoke with staff at Taoyuan General Hospital, who reported on the unfolding situation. We've conducted isolation and triage measures to handle the other patients. We're having staff isolate at home if they need to and to conduct self-health management if they need to. After the hospital was cleared out, there were patients who remained, a total of 217 people. The isolation and triage measures have been handled very well. Staff morale is currently very good. Due to its international airport, Taoyuan has been on the front line of COVID for a year. Following the hospital outbreak, some Pan Blue local leaders have issued travel advisories against Taoyuan. On Friday, Mayor Zheng and Premier Su called for the nation to rally behind the city. There is only one Taiwan, so we have to stand together during this pandemic. Over the past year, Taoyuan has taken in and treated a total of 223 infected people. That accounts for 25.7 percent of all cases nationwide. Our colleagues could say they're under great pressure in fighting this pandemic. Their responsibility is very great, but they have not complained. At this moment, we are all Taoyuan people. We are all proud of Taoyuan. All of us nationwide are united in this effort. We will defend Taoyuan to protect Taiwan. We will not draw distinctions to divide ourselves. KMT Chairman Johnny Cheung said it was the defense ministry that first issued a Taoyuan travel ban. In response, the ministry said soldiers were a special case, as they lived in close quarters where COVID could rapidly spread. It reiterated its directive, saying soldiers should avoid high-risk areas and should keep track of their movements in order to support Taiwan's COVID fight.